Hi, I am Raghav from Automation Step by Step and welcome to this beginner's tutorial on Cypress. Today we are going to see a very useful demo and we are going to use all the features and all the concepts that we have learned in the earlier sessions. So we are going to create a very simple login test and we will interact with the elements, we will use timeouts and we'll also see how to find descendant elements. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So let's get started and I will open my Visual Studio code and I will expand this and I will go to my my first test.js script that we have created earlier and here I'm going to create one more test. So until now we have been working on Google. So today let me try out a different application and I can go to a demo application orange hrm i will provide all the links in the description or the notes section of this video so here this is the application and you can see here we have this is a dummy login application or a dummy application for hrm and it has a username admin and password admin123 if i enter the username and password and click on login as of now, it is not working. It is saying invalid credential. So this is just a dummy application. At your time, it may not be working. So do not worry on that. You can use any application. Let me try out a different application. And again, I will go to this, a different application of Orange HRM. And here you can see the username and password are already added. If I click on login, it should take me to the home page. So, Yes, this is taking me to the dashboard. So this one is working. So I will use this one. Uh, I will go and first create a new test case. And for that, I will create a new it block here. Do it is, I will go here and say it dot only. So by saying it dot only, it will only run this particular script or this particular test case. So I can save this and now I will go to my terminal and I will say npx cypress open and hit enter. So this opens the GUI here and I will click on my first test.js and here you will see it will run only the login test. So yes, it is going to the orange HRM demo application. And you can see here it is only running the login test and yes it is done and now I can interact with the elements using the selector playground here so I will go here selectors playground and I will first I do not have to add the username and password because these are already added so I will directly click on the login button so I will get the locator for login button and here we have a ID present that is why it is saying hash hash means ID you can also check here if I do a right click on login and say inspect you can see here we have btn login which is the ID of this button or this element and that is what we are getting here I will just copy this and paste it in my script so here I will say I'll just say control V to paste and I have to click on it. So I will say dot click. And now after this, the next step should be, I will go back to the application and I will click on the selectors playground again to switch it off. And now I will manually click on the login button. So it goes to the dashboard. And after going to the dashboard, let us say I want to click on this uh, admin so I will again get the selector for this admin and here you can see I have got this this one means it is matching one element or a unique element so this is fine it should be one always here and I will just copy this and add this script here again this should be dot click and then after clicking I will switch off the selector click manually on admin 
and it is expanded now I will click on user management I will again get the selector and hover over user management click it copy the command and paste in my script and this again is click and then after this let me switch off the selector and click manually on user management and I have users here then I will again get the selector for this users link and copy and paste in my script and this again is a click event or a click action and now I will go and manually click on users and as I do this it should bring up a users list and yes it is doing that also I have a, a plus button here to add user let me try this one this will be interesting what if I click here so I will get my selector playground and get the locator and command for this icon copy and I will paste it and again I will say click and then after this let me manually click on this plus button when we click we get a window here this is interesting and let us say here I want to get the I just want to click on save so if I again go to the selector playground and here if I go yes so if I go here uh, now if you see here if you see carefully it is not able to select the save or cancel button it is going until here on this section but not able to find out the actual element for this cancel and save button it is only able to go until its parent which is this uh, section here uh, let me try this if I select this I am getting this selector let me copy this and paste it in my test and I will do some actions later so this is what I am getting if I check on the application let me manually go here and I will go to admin user management and users and I will click on this plus button now if I do a right click on this save button and say inspect let me see what is the properties it has so if you see here Cypress was able to find out this div class model footer and you can see here this is what it is able to find out and this save button is inside this and it also has a id so it actually has a id but we have to go until the child or we'll have to find this button inside this class model footer so now for this uh, if you search if you say cypress find descendant element because this is like a descendant of uh, this particular class this is a class this is a descendant let me go and check so if I go to the documentation of Cypress we have a action or a command called find and you can see it is exactly for getting the descendant DOM elements of a specific selector so we have got this selector uh, we have got this selector which is this section and we have to get to the descendant of the selector which is the save button so for that if you see the syntax you can get that particular element and then say find so let me just say here after getting this I will say dot find and here I can give the class or we have a id so I can directly say hash and the id so within quotes single quotes I will say hash and the id that we have for this button is this one so we have id save user system user save btn i will copy this from here and i will add it here and then i have to click so i will just say dot click now with experience you will come to know what are the different commands and how you can search and uh, get things done you can always go to Cypress documentation and you can see all these commands here so one or the other command will help you we have lots of command so always check for the documentation if you are stuck 
and with experience you will come to know what you should be doing in what situation so now let us see we have created a test now i will go back i will save everything go back to my browser and say run all tests and let us see what happens uh, looks like some compilation error uh, let me go to the cypress ui and i will say stop and i will run the file again from here and let us now watch if so it locks in and yes clicks on admin user management and users and let us see okay so there is some extra time needed here by the time we get this plus button here it has timed out so you can see it has timed out for five after five seconds and this is because in the earlier session we have added a timeout in our cypress.json file which is five seconds we have also seen how we can add a timeout at a command level but for now let me just go in the cypress.json file and increase the timeout to 20 seconds that is 20,000 milliseconds and I will go again and I will run the test from here and let us watch this time so it goes to the application and clicks on the login button and yes it is it has clicked on admin user management and users and now it is waiting and yes this time it was able to uh, find the button and it has also clicked on the save button if you see this this errors that is all these required fields comes only after clicking on the save button so that means our find command has worked so here it has gone to this element or this section and then we have said find with this id or this uh, particular id of the element and it is successful and with that we have completed our demo test i hope this was very useful for you you can take cypress quiz on my website automationstepbystep.com please share your knowledge with everyone and never stop learning